This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Shade Baderanois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Freezing rain, sleet, and snow. Stormwatch 7 is in full effect. We're seeing it all today. The conditions making for a dangerous commute home tonight. But the worst isn't over. Get ready for another drop in temperatures and dangerous winds. Good evening. I'm Shade Bedernois. And I'm Diana Williams. And we begin with Storm Watch 7 and major line disruptions on the LIRR at Penn Station right now. Numerous delays after an accident on the tracks and downed wires. This weather also causing lots of accidents. State police in New Jersey report more than 1,200 accidents have happened just in the past 24 hours. And the city of New York rolled out extra plows to keep the roads clear. Travelers face big problems at three major airports, hundreds of flights canceled, and lots of power outages. Crews right now working to get the lights back on in many areas. And for the first time this winter season, students got a snow day. A lot of districts in Westchester County canceling classes today. The Eyewitness News team is covering everything from rail troubles to power outages. But first, we go to meteorologist Lee Goldberg. Lee. Diana, can't close the book on the storm just yet, although you look at the Brooklyn camera, a sight for sore eyes. Some sunshine starting to come over Manhattan, but that's not the end. There's one more parting shot from this storm. You see it on the AccuTrack. The storm itself is over Cape Cod, but you see some snow bands have been wrapping on the backside of the storm along with the colder winds. One through the Hudson Valley, quick coating trying to move into Danbury right now, but more importantly, there's another batch that's sitting over Pennsylvania, and that has to sweep through the entire area after about 6 o'clock tonight till about 9 o'clock tonight, so still could be another quick coating to an inch or two across the area. Over to the other computer, winter storm watches have been dropped, advisories, the ice storm warning, very rare occurrence over New York City earlier today, that has been dropped, but winter storm warnings are still in effect for Sullivan, Ulster, and Dutchess County. That'll go until later tonight. So, wind advisories, the wind on the backside of the storm can still gust up to 40 and 50 miles per hour. Here is your evening impact. There are still some sleet areas, but it goes all back to snow. Watch out for that quick burst of snow that can come through the the evening hours. Then the powerful winds on the backside of the storm continue. Temperatures will continue to crash tonight. So we have blowing ice and snow. And don't think because things have quieted down this evening that it's time to get out on the roads because it will get worse again tonight. And really a flash freeze across the entire area with numbers dropping into the teens and wind chills near zero. Plenty to talk about with this storm and going forward in your five day AccuWeather forecast. We'll see you in a few minutes. Diana, okay. Shade? Good point. Stay home and stay safe. We do continue to follow breaking news at Penn Station. There are major problems. Tonight on the LIRR, specifically along the Babylon and Ronkonkoma branches. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett is live in Lindenhurst. He has more tonight on what's causing the delays. NJ? Diana, Lindenhurst, Long Island, uh, where a tractor trailer jackknifed uh, earlier today onto the Long Island Railroad tracks, uh, shutting down rail service in both directions on the railroad's Ronkonkoma branch. Now, this happened. Less than two hours ago, Diana, just outside the Pine Lawn Station here. Now, the circumstances are still not clear, but a small snowplow collided with a tractor trailer and careened onto the tracks. At least one man was injured, his condition not confirmed. Fortunately, amazingly perhaps, no trains were coming, but the accident forced the railroad to shut down the line. That has caused a ripple effect that will go back, clear, uh, clear back down the line to Penn Station. We can expect that there will be delays. I was told just moments ago uh, by the uh, MTA police who are on the scene here that they are expected to reopen this branch shortly, that there will be trains rolling, there will be trains coming through here, uh, but the delays, the, the damage in essence uh, is already done. We can expect to see delays on the, uh, on the line. In fact, uh, I'm hearing whistles uh, down the tracks, and uh, I think we've got the first train coming through here shortly. So, fortunately, some good news uh, for commuters coming from here. Uh, but it was obviously a very tense scene here uh, for the last two hours. Hey, NJ, thank you. Uh, also out on Long Island, Eyewitness News reporter Emily Smith tracking down reports of down wires on the tracks. She joins us live from Seaford, Long Island. Emily? 
Good evening, Sade. We're here in Seaford where within the past 15 minutes, the trains have started moving in both directions. But I want to show you what happened. Look up there at the power line dangling from the pole. One of those lines actually fell right on the track. A train made it over. It sped right through, did not cause any damage to the train or anything to the passengers. But the next several trains scheduled to head east and west had to wait, some in mid-track for more than an hour while MTA crews cleared the downed line. Well, wind, authorities say, is to blame for the incident that has inconvenienced a countless number of passengers. One passenger says he's just trying to get to Manhattan in time for tonight's Rod Stewart concert. I thought we'd make it on the railroad okay. Mother Nature said differently. And I asked him why he didn't drive, and he just said he thought taking the railroad would be his safest bet because the road's pretty icy as well. And you can look up there. You see crews are up there now, but they are just salting and just making it safe for passengers. The trains here in Seaford are running. We are live in Seaford tonight. Emily Smith, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay. Thank you very much, Emily. Thank you, Emily. Okay. All right. Well, as uh, besides the Long Island Railroad delays, most of the other area rail lines are holding up during this storm. But uh, also keep in mind, as these temperatures drop, road conditions are getting worse by the minute. And in response, New York City is rushing to get 1,500 plows out to help in time for the evening commute. We want to go to Dave Evans, who is live on the Upper West Side with more. Dave? Osada, traffic here along the West Side Highway moving fairly well tonight. A much different story from earlier today. The problem was sanitation crews can't put the big plows out on the roadways until there's at least two inches of snow and ice on the roads or more than that. We were below that two inch level earlier today and so the city responded with salt spreaders. They weren't able to keep up with the big storm. Big problem earlier today could be a problem as well tomorrow. When it's an icy storm, there's always a dilemma. What's better to shovel? Or to put down some salt. For drivers, it was a nightmare this morning of spin outs and fender benders. This was Queens Boulevard in Woodside at noon, which begs the question could the city have done a better job? I think they, the city is not prepared for, for this. Florist Nicholas Portello, certainly busy on Valentine's Day, says he's disappointed with how City Hall responded. It's too difficult. You know, there is no, I think they, they are no cleaning the. The streets. They're like not cleaning them, you think? No. Sanitation crews did try to keep up with 365 salt spreaders at first, but this unusual ice fall kept everyone scrambling. Uh, sometimes I'd rather uh, try and control a 12 inch snowstorm than uh, try and control a storm where we got a lot of sleet and ice coming down. And this storm's aftermath is still with us. Low temperatures tonight could mean black ice and more salt and more headaches. You can never seem to get ahead on your roadways. So the roadways could certainly be slick tonight as well as tomorrow morning during the commute. One other quick note about sanitation. If your trash pickup day is tomorrow, go ahead and put your trash out. If sanitation crews can't get to your trash tomorrow, they will do so by Friday night. For now, reporting live along the West Side Highway, Dave Evans, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you very much, Dave. We want you to take note of some information that right now is being crawled at the bottom of your screen. You can see it right there. We've got everything from uh, sanitation information to power outage information, and we're going to continue to show you that information throughout this broadcast. So if you need to jot anything down, it will be there for you. We just talked about uh, problems out on the roadways, about getting roads cleared. Well, sidewalks also have to be cleaned, too. Property owners and renters have just four hours. Hours after a storm to make sure the sidewalk in front of their building is free of ice and snow. Now, according to the city, snow cannot be tossed out into the street. If the ice or snow can't be removed, ash, sand, or sawdust has to be spread. Anyone caught violating city code faces hefty fines. A first offense is going to cost you up to $150. A second one runs from $150 to $350. Get into trouble three or more times, you're going to pay a real hefty fine, $250 to $350. Of course, all the problems on the tracks causing big delays at Penn Station. We've been telling you about problems on the Babylon and Ronkonkoma branches. Eyewitness News reporter Nina Pineda is at Penn Station, and I can imagine inside there, Nina, there must be a big crowd. Uh, you know what, Diana? Hundreds of people just waiting to hear about what's happening on the Ronkonkoma line. NJ Burkett just told us the good news. He heard a train he thought rumbling down the tracks. We understand that Babylon service has been re restored, but Ron Konkoma, that very important central line, is still out. Let's go to some video that we just shot downstairs and show you
you the crowds that are waiting, getting that bad news. 60 to 90 minute delays on the Babylon line, and no one downstairs has been told yet that the Ron Concom line is even running. A lot of people down there said they had to wait with a lot of patience and take it in stride. You can't help it, and I think they did a great job this morning. There was not a problem on the railroad, which I thought there would be, and I think they do the best they can. The LIRR right now is trying to arrange some sort of bus service. That's what passengers downstairs are waiting to hear. We're now understanding that the Ron Concoma line, I can hear in the background, has been restored. Of course, we're going to be expecting a domino effect of several hours of delays, maybe an hour, an hour and a half on the Babylon line, a little bit longer on Ron Concoma. Some of those passengers were revised to take the Port Jeff line, but now the good news, Ron Concoma running. We just don't, help, don't know how long it will take. Diane and Sade, back to you. Okay, Nina, thank you. Well, the conditions made for a dangerous commute this morning. Several drivers already killed in what's believed to be weather related accidents. Stay Police in North Jersey alone responded to about 170 accidents this morning. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live in Rutherford with details. Anthony? Well, Shade State Police now telling us they've had over 1,200 accidents out here on state highways in the past 24 hours, three of them involving fatalities, two of those fatalities involving people who got out of their disabled cars, and that's certainly a lesson for anybody who finds themselves stuck out here on the highways. There have been hundreds of disabled vehicles all over the state. Some have spun out, others stuck in the ice, slush, and snow. But the worst road tragedies involve people who got out of their cars after their vehicles became disabled and were hit by oncoming traffic. I'm stuck, guys. I know, but you know what? Stay in the car. I, I did something foolish by trying to walk outside and, um, and you know, probably... Uh, have an accident occur. In Egg Harbor, a 54 year old woman was killed when her car was struck by another vehicle and she was hit by her own car. Then this morning, a man was killed on the New Jersey Turnpike when he was hit by a truck while standing on the roadway. Call it in. Don't, don't risk your life. It's, we can't stress enough. You should not be getting out of your car on the side of the road. And even good Samaritans are being advised not to get out of their cars. Instead, call for help. Yeah, I understand. What are you going to do? Everybody's going to help each other out here, you know? Now, if you do find yourself stuck out here on the New Jersey Turnpike, all you have to do is get on your cell phone and dial pound 95. Help will come. And on the Garden State Parkway, all you have to do is dial pound GSP. One other reminder about the New Jersey Turnpike speed limits are down to 35 miles per hour. That is the latest live from Rutherford, New Jersey. Anthony Johnson. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Hope people are following that. Thank you, Anthony. Power problems now, and they are plaguing lots of areas. Crews have been working to clear the ice and branches to keep the lights on. Right now, New Jersey appears to be hardest hit. About 60,000 customers without power. Eyewitness News reporter Ken Rosado continues our live team coverage. He's in Eaton Town with more for us. Ken? Well, Diana, much of coastal New Jersey was hit with freezing rain this morning and lots of it. Now, this branch alone here has about three quarters of an inch of ice that built up on it over the course of the morning and afternoon. You couple that with some high winds and some power lines and you get outages. Ice encrusted tree limbs snapping in the wind, taking down power lines as they fall. This is the scenario in much of New Jersey's Monmouth and Ocean counties. A lot of power lines down, frozen trees, branches falling. It's uh, pretty icy out here today. More than 57,000 customers lost power in the Garden State, most of them along the central and southern coast. Problem is, without power, there's usually no heat. Not the situation you want to be in with freezing temperatures. What are you going to do if you have no power overnight to keep warm? Go to my mother's. <laughs> she has power. The power problems also affected traffic lights, making an already treacherous drive even more dangerous. This afternoon, utility workers braved the bitter cold, trying to repair downed lines as the sun poked a hole through the gray blanket above, reminding us of warmer days to come. And back to the gray skies, unfortunately, now a live look at some workers here out in force cutting up trees so the power company can string some new lines. Now, many communities up and down the Jersey Shore have open shelters for those people without power and heat tonight. And nearby in Jackson Township, they had to open their high school. They're hosting more than 500 people without electricity for this cold night. That's it from here. We're live in Eatontown, New Jersey. Ken Rosado, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you, Ken. And here are some of the latest numbers that we have regarding power outages. The Long Island Power Authority reports 
reporting more than 14,000 customers right now are without power. Con Edison, they're reporting about 1,000 customers in New York City and Westchester who don't have power at this point. And of course, we'll continue to keep updating these numbers for you as they come into us. Well, one of the hardest hit areas, Orange County. While many places got hit with sleet and rain, Goshen got snow and lots of it. At one point, they even experienced whiteout conditions. I would just report Lisa Caligrasi is in Goshen now with more. Lisa? And Sade, it has been a long, cold day up here in Goshen. We're finally getting a little bit of a break after a day of nonstop snow. DOT snow plows cut through waves of heavy snow in Orange County. Overnight and this morning, four inches of snow fell. Drivers armed themselves with plenty of washer fluid to help see. Very, very bad. This slippery. Because you can't even see the surface at all. You can't see anything. Uh, coming up the throughway was slippery. By daybreak, the streets of Goshen were desolate, save for small business owners clearing the sidewalks for customers who didn't show up. Oh, you're not phased by the snow, huh? No, it doesn't bother me at all. I like it. I mean, it's going to hurt business, obviously, but I enjoy it. I just want to go out and drive around <laughs> and just enjoy the weather. You may want to think twice about the drive. After a few hours of ice and high winds, it was back to heavy snow. So bad, there are near whiteout conditions on Route 17. The solution, stay off the road. The Howell family took that advice to heart, breaking out the snowmobiles for the first time this winter. It's very cold, very sleety. It's really hard on your face when you're driving. Now, the latest snow totals up here in Orange County, six to seven inches. Now, state police say the driving conditions here are terrible, but say they haven't had that many accidents because there aren't that many people on the road. We are live in Goshen. Lisa Calagrossi, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Lisa, they're smart to stay at home. Thank you. Well, Metro Traffic's Debbie Duham continues our team coverage with the latest on the impact the weather is having on the ride home. Okay, well, good afternoon, Sade. Thank you very much. Keep in mind, you want to take it slowly over the bridges and around the ramp. Speed still reduced at most of the bridges in the tri state area. Let's go outside, take a look. Here's the Grand Central Parkway eastbound, really heavy, getting out toward Northern Boulevard. An accident just about cleared. Westbound Staten Island Expressway, not too bad, but the roads are slick as you get out toward 440. Let's go over to the maps. I want to tell you about an accident. On the island, westbound Southern State at Broadway, an accident, very slick conditions reported on the LIE. You want to take it very slowly. And northbound 287, exit 47 in Montville, an accident, numerous spin outs in New Jersey. For Channel 7 Eyewitness News, I'm Debbie Duhame. Debbie, thank you. Well, as you can see, this is not a day to fly. The weather has caused the cancellations of at least 1,600 flights nationwide. Here in our area, delays at LaGuardia range from 30 to, to uh, 60 minutes. Delays are scattered at both Newark and JFK. Eyewitness News reporter Lisa Carolina Terrazona has been at LaGuardia since early this morning. And Carolina, how are they faring out there? Well, not good. I have to tell you, though, Shade, they're in a very good mood considering. And it's been a waiting game here at LaGuardia practically all day. And we've been here since 3 o'clock in the morning. And it seems as, as the day progresses, this line behind me gets longer. Check it out. It goes all the way down Terminal D. And it actually goes around the corner to the other side, around to the restrooms. And many of these people, this is the worst part for them, they still haven't been given an answer. It's that yellow word on the screen, cancel, that gets all these people frustrated. They have already canceled five flights to Rochester. Passengers sleeping on chairs, resting on tables and window ledges, all because they're stuck, very stuck. It's tiring, um, but you know, we'd rather, we'd rather be out here than stuck on the plane. Snow plows race through the gate area, LaGuardia cleaning up the white stuff, but barely any planes moved at all. Brian and Desiree Livingston brought their four dogs to the Westminster show, plus their newborn son, Skyler. He's not a showpiece. We knew that our 6 a.m. flight had been delayed or canceled, actually, and we were rescheduled for a 645 flight. I didn't know that one was canceled until we got here to check in. Skyler doesn't get it, but their flight to Dallas has been canceled, period. Plus, they ran out of diapers. Others have been here since last night, too, after the show. And they're still here. It's a lot of pressure on me, you know, so I need to get back home. Need to get back home. That's what everybody seems to keep telling us this afternoon. A lot of people on their cell phones calling home, telling them about what's happening. 
Last we heard, 1,600 flights in the Northeast canceled, so it's going to take a while. The best advice that we could give you, call your carrier before you come out here. And that is the latest live from LaGuardia, Carolina Terrazona, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Carolina. And if canceled flights weren't bad enough, one plane load of passengers suffered for more than eight hours stranded on the tarmac at JFK. The JetBlue flight was headed to Cancun. It left the jetway at 8.15 this morning. It was still on the runway at 3.30 this afternoon. Lou Martin, a passenger on board, sent us these photos and talked to me about the frustration. They run out of water. There's, uh, you know, very little left uh, by way of, uh, they served some coffee a little while ago, but I mean, you know, they're handing out snacks from here from time to time, but it's, uh, it's getting to the point where we're getting so crazy in this place. I don't know what to say, honestly. I'm, I'm just at the point now I can see some serious desperation in people's eyes, you know. Very frustrating. There are a number of children on board, too, and said, Lou said it was not easy. Uh, there were 134 people on that flight, and at this hour, they are not in Cancun. They are actually off the plane, though, and claiming their baggage. JetBlue says all of the passengers will get a full refund and a complimentary round trip ticket for a future flight. But I think they're pretty upset. Oh, I would be mm -hmm. too. I can understand that. Yeah, and our coverage of the storm is going to continue. Coming up, why this wasn't such a fun snow day for students. And Seven's on call with whether a shot or spray is more effective in vaccinating kids against the flu. Mother Nature is toying with business owners on this Valentine's Day. I'm Lauren Glassberg, and coming up, we'll take a look at some of the challenges they're facing. The oven's broken. It's probably in shock that you're trying to use it. And I was going to make dessert. Who needs an oven? Ooh. Introducing Philadelphia ready-to-eat cheesecake filling. One easy step, one quick and simple way to make a delicious Philly cheesecake. Just spread and enjoy. Mmm. I think the dishwasher's broken, too. Uh, that's the freezer. <laughs> New Philadelphia ready-to-eat cheesecake filling in the cream cheese aisle. My grandpa Byron Holton died from smoking. The day of his memorial service, I felt sad. I loved him very much, and I missed him. Having him gone was like taking a big part of me out. Seeing him lying there in the casket was like the worst day of my life. You miss him pretty bad? Yes. I miss him a lot. Winning. It takes talent, commitment, passion. On the court or in court, it's all about being the best. If you have mesothelioma or another asbestos-related disease, you need a firm representing you that knows how to win. You need Whites and Luxembourg. This is I, What Does News? Proud to support the Protect Our Children campaign. Have you seen Mario? ABC7 and Tri-State Ford dealers urge you to protect our children. Viewers are sending us photos of the storm. And isn't this a great picture? Oh, this is gorgeous. from Erin Delaney. This is Ocean Township. This is her driveway. I think it's her it's driveway. It's her driveway? I'm saying it's her driveway. I hope, Erin, it is your driveway. <laughs> if not, it's just a beautiful roadway. It's a nice driveway. Driveway. Beautiful. Curry Although, right I look at that and it's so pretty, and then I think down power lines. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, beautiful, but a little dangerous at the same time. Anyways, we do want to remind you that you too can be a part of the Eyewitness News team. Send us your cell video and photos to eyewitness at abc.com. We love your pictures. Yeah, we'll yes. put them right up. Yeah. Well, we could see from that photo the roads are really bad out there, and they're just going to get worse tonight. They are because of the flash freeze that's happening now. I mean, a lot of places mm -hmm. have been below freezing, but temperatures are dropping so quickly. But it's such an amazing storm in that there are places like Montauk that got a couple inches of rain. There are places like in Sullivan County that got a foot of snow. Montauk oh, wow. was 45 this morning. Our far northern suburbs never got out of the teens. So you want to talk about forecasting something like that? And we're in the middle here in the city. And you're and right the on big it. Ice you said we're going to get everything. Wow. I mean, you know, the, the one thing I think was some of the lower snow amounts in parts of the Hudson Valley, but still icing problems there. And they shut down the Taconic last night. And it just really so many problems from this storm. A rare widespread ice storm for the tri-state area. You do not see this very often. So outside now, it's been a glaze around the city. It's been remarkable.
remarkable how poor the conditions have been in the city streets themselves. I mean, we had the ice that has been just tough to remove, and it was just these ice grains all day long that made it so nasty to walk around. All right, AccuTrack first, and it looks like we're in an ice break here, which we are, although still some flurries are flying around the area. But there's this one other batch, and I've put a timeline here. That's to the back edge, and you talk about five hours away, so we will be in and out of some snow showers and flurries through 10 o'clock that can drop a quick coating in spots. So even though it's quiet now and some places have breaks in the clouds, there's still a little bit more snow to go before this is over, and then it's all about the cold winds and dropping temperatures. Winter storm warnings are up, and that's for Sullivan, Ulster, and Dutchess County. It goes until 10 o'clock tonight. Wind advisories for winds over 40, 50 miles per hour along the coast. That goes until the early morning hours on Thursday. I want to take you through an AccuPlanner. This is through this evening. A snow shower at 7 o'clock. The wind chill is 5. The temperatures are 20. Notice how we drop down through the teens. Wind chills near zero all night long, and still some icing for your morning commute that you want to really be careful with. 29 right now. Actually, the temperatures spike briefly. That's what this storm has really been all about, is the erratic nature of the temperatures. In our next half hour, I'm going to explain, explain to you the profile of the storm and what happened right near the coast. Westerly wind, 12 to 21 right now, and today's high, 29. Officially, two inches of a mix of snow and ice in the city. The average high, 41, nowhere near that. There are your sunrise and sunset times for tomorrow. So you see how the city was in that two-inch band there. It ramped up in a hurry. We saw Lisa Colagrassi in Goshen near the six-inch line, a foot and a half through upstate New York near the Albany area. They're talking about two feet of snow up there. There's how the storm has been winding up near New England right now. The last batch has to come through by 10 o'clock. We'll clear out, and then it's six degrees in Syracuse. So that's the air that rushes down tonight, and it is super cold, bitterly cold tonight and tomorrow. So 14 with the snow showers tonight, and then for tomorrow, yeah, the sun is out, but it's one of those days where the sun is just doing no good. 24 degrees with a bitter wind. So here's my AccuWeather forecast. Freezing temperatures tonight, the wind chill zero, the early snow, and then just clearing skies late. For tomorrow, a high of only 24 with a wind chill of 5, and still cold with wind chills near zero mm. tomorrow night. We'll start a little recovery over the weekend. Still going to be a while before we get this cold out, so the snow and ice going to sit there for a little while. Okay. Okay. And we've forgotten to say happy Valentine's yeah, Day. Yes, you happy as Valentine's well. Day. Maybe we'll celebrate in our next half. Uh -huh. Yeah, we will. All right. Okay, well, we have uh, Stormwatch 7 coverage ahead. Coming up, we are on the road with snowplow operators as they try to clear the roads for drivers. A headache for you and me, a snow day for students. Some sound for Bookman in Chappaqua. A live report coming up. Hey, moms and dads, looking for a fast way to check on school closings? For up to the minute listings, go to 7online.com. It's Channel 7, wherever you are. Shouldn't a savings account make your savings go up? With the ING Direct Orange Savings Account, we pay high interest all the time. There are no minimums, no fees, ever. Your savings are free to grow. Call 1 800 ING Direct. Save your money. In honor of President's Day, your Honda dealer is making some very impressive offers on your favorite Honda car or truck. From the innovative Ridgeline and eight passenger pilot to the stylish Accord and ever popular Civic. In fact, you could even say that no price is carved in stone. But we wouldn't because it doesn't sound, you know, very presidential. The President's Day celebration. Now get APR financing as low as 0.9% on select Honda trucks for well qualified buyers. Hi, I'm Jake Ehrenreich, and A Jew Grows in Brooklyn is my story. I grew up in the 60s in a Jewish immigrant family. I just wanted to be American, so I played baseball, and I loved rock and roll. Tumbling, I learned in the cat skills. I'm here to give you super sex. I'll take the soup. Come celebrate my journey from Brooklyn to Broadway in A Jew Grows in Brooklyn. Wheel of Fortune's Country Music Stars Week. Tonight at 7.30. Right here on ABC7. Save 50 to 65%, plus take an extra 10% off during Bloomingdale's Winter Fur Sale in the Maximilian Fur Salon, exclusively at Bloomingdale's. You're watching Eyewitness News, the news watched by more people in the tri-state area. An expected day off for some students. For the first time this season, kids from dozens of public schools uh, districts got a snow day today. Most districts in the northern suburbs of New York City closed. And I'm smiling because my kids were so happy <laughs> today. <laughs> Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Bookman live in Chappaqua to tell us how they spent the day in the snow. Sandra?
Too bad it wasn't a snow day for us, huh? Shade and Diana. You know, this was a storm that had a little bit of everything. Snow, ice, sleet, rain, and just enough of it to, as you said, shut down area schools and give students that much anticipated snow day. One, two, three. The Mendez family found the perfect way to spend a snow day, taking on the best sledding hill in town. We decided to come out and see if we could actually get uh, a good ride with our sleds and, and enjoy this fine weather while it's here. Because who knows, maybe next week we'll be playing golf. The Mendezes had the popular mini slope all to themselves, despite the fact that most schools across Westchester County were closed. The first big winter storm of the season wasn't so user friendly. Much of what fell was ice, not much good for making snowballs, and the Arctic air made it too uncomfortable for most outdoor activities. Though not for the young Robinson sisters who spent part of their snow day de-icing mom's car. What's so great about having a snow day? Well, mostly is you don't have to go to school and work all day. <laughs> and work all day. Well, in the last hour or so, we've seen more people, more families out with their sleds trying to climb area hills because that icy rain has stopped and we've got a light snow that's falling. And as you heard Lee say a little bit ago, we can see glimpses of the sky right now. The question we've been asked is whether or not there's going to be school tomorrow, and the answer is we don't know yet. We've not gotten word. We're live tonight in Chappaqua. I'm Sandra Bookman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. A lot of kids uh -huh. are asking They're that question. their fingers yeah. tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Our weather coverage continues, including why the timing of this Valentine's Day storm is hurting some people's plans, but has actually helped others. Ice and snow still falling, plows steady rolling, trying to stay ahead of the mess. I'm Tony Yates in Morristown. More on the people who are trying to keep the roads clear. Also ahead, a shot or nasal spray, the better way to vaccinate your child against the flu. If you have a story for the Eyewitness News investigators, call 1-877-TIP-NEWS. That's 1-877-847-6397. President William Henry Harrison. He's an unheard of president, so we're recognizing him during Kia's Unheard of President's Day sales event. With unheard of deals like $199 a month lease on the Kia Sportage and award winning SUV. To honor him, we've created this rare William Henry Harrison beach towel. Your one month in office won't be forgotten. Get unheard of deals now at your tri state Kia retailers. This year, the fashion color of the season is ultimate blue. And the big winner, Entenmann's Ultimate Desserts. You could be a winner on the Hollywood scene, too. Enter at EntenmannsRedCarpet.com for your chance to indulge in a red carpet-ready getaway for four to Beverly Hills. Shop, spa, and dine in style. Glam up Hollywood's biggest night or any night with Entenmann's Ultimate Desserts. Every occasion's a winner with Entenmann's. And watch the stars arrive Sunday, February 25th on ABC7. Entenmann's, available at BJ's. In Paris, they broke the rules. In Saigon, they broke our hearts. Now, the creators of Les Miserables and Miss Saigon break ground once again with their boldest, most breathtaking musical ever, The Pirate Queen. From the producers of Riverdance comes a spectacular Broadway event and an epic love story. Boubille and Schoenberg's The Pirate Queen. Call or visit Ticketmaster.com today. With my back pain, if I move, it hurts. In the morning, my back is so stiff. If you're over 18 and have experienced low back pain for at least six months, you may be able to participate in a research study of an investigational drug. We used to love long walks with the family, but now it's out of the question. Call 866-787-1123 today to find out if you're eligible. And now, Eyewitness News continues with Diana Williams, Shade Berenois, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News. And we're back. Stormwatch 7 in full effect. Is this storm making its way through our area? Lee Goldberg is following AccuTrack and will have the latest information for us coming up. And things are getting back to normal on the Long Island Railroad. 
Uh, problems earlier suspended service on the Reconcoma and Babylon lines, but commuters will happy, be happy to hear things are back on track. And as we've been telling you, power problems all across the area because of this weather. About 57,000 customers in New Jersey right now do not have electricity. And on Long Island, LIPA says it has about 14,000 power outages there. Of course, crews working very hard to get the lights back on. And we have complete team coverage. Let's go straight to Iowa News reporter Marcus Solis. He's live in Greenwich, Connecticut, where people are trying to make their way home from work. Marcus? Well, Shade, Diana, so often you hear that mass transit is your best option during times of bad weather. A lot of the folks we spoke to here couldn't agree more because the roads are a mess. Joan from Greenwich thought she was just going to run a quick errand. Not so fast. Like so many others today, her car got stuck in the slop. Icy snow, ice and snow, <laughs> that's it, and it's terrible. The commute home will not be easy. On 287, just south of the state line, this truck lost control. Not much better on local roads. There are lane markers somewhere on West Putnam Avenue. Where is anyone's guess? Keeping roads clear has been a huge challenge. We try to keep up with them, get the, the town on them with the plows and the sand to uh, keep up a little better on the hill so people don't get stuck. Mass transit is running well for those who didn't have a snow day. Kind of messy to do anything outside today, but you know, I worked inside for a little while, a couple hours, and now I'm going to go try to get home. It's a nice option. The court reported came from the same place I did. It took her three hours to get there. It only took me an hour by train, so it's, a, it's an option I'm thankful for. As for Joan, no amount of pushing by yours truly or police would help. She needed a tow truck. I only live right up the road here, and I should never have come out of the door. It's ridiculous. Well, some folks had no choice but to go outside. Now, you can see that uh, people certainly getting on the trains. Interestingly, a lot of people heading into the city with Valentine's Day plans. And we're live in Greenwich. Marcus Solis, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Marcus, you mentioned Valentine's Day. The timing of this storm could not be worse for Valentine's Day. Vendors from florists and restaurants to horse and carriage drivers, Mother Nature is hitting them where it hurts, their wallets. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is live on the Upper West Side with more. Lauren? Bad timing indeed. This is the big day, the big night for a number of businesses, florists, candy stores, chocolate shops, and romantic restaurants. And when Mother Nature interferes, business suffers. But business owners are hoping there's enough love in the air to keep this holiday from being a bust. Philip Bellucci, the owner of Chelsea Wholesale Flower Market, will tell you snow and flowers don't mix. I wind up having to spend money for a van, a helper for the driver, because you've got to send the flowers out in a climate controlled situation. He's hoping people brave the weather to buy bouquets tonight. And despite the line at Lilac Chocolate, the weather has taken a nibble out of business. Normally we would be busier than this, but it's still busier than I thought it would be. You know, New Yorkers, they're troopers. <laughs> and if you'd hope to go on a horse and carriage ride to say Tavern on the Green, you're out of luck. The horses stay inside during icy weather. And many restaurant goers are doing the same. When I came in, it was uh, a 50% cancellation. I had about 400 reservations booked. Now it's down to 200. So to bring in business, Nino Salamage is offering to pick up local customers by limo. And at Cafe des Artis, one of the city's most romantic spots. We are getting cancellations uh, for the weather. So Tables that were booked weeks ago have freed up. Good news for one man in particular who was looking to propose tonight. He's been calling every day for like a couple of weeks. We said, oh, you're lucky. We have a cancellation. And so he has a table and he's going to propose to his girlfriend tonight. Isn't that sweet? It'll be even sweeter if she says yes to his proposal on Valentine's Day. Now, if you're heading out for a romantic meal tonight, your best bet is to stay local and try to avoid driving far away because conditions are still pretty poor. Live on the West Side, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Lauren, thank you. Well, to help ease things, snow plows have been on the streets since the first flakes fell, and they still have a ways to go tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Gates is covering that part of the story. She's live in Morristown. Tony. Sade, you know, we've been out here all day, and this is the first time we've seen those yellow divider lines on Morris Street since before dawn this morning, and not because the, slope, the snow plows weren't coming consistently. It was because those ice pellets were falling relentlessly. Let me tell you, these road crews have been kept busy all day with this storm. If snowplow drivers had been twiddling their thumbs before this storm was forecast, they're not now. They're on overtime and overdrive. Crews that were working last night are taking a rest break now, and uh, 
if we need if we need to switch crews later on tonight, then we'll do that. Yeah, my eyes are getting heavy already, but that's why you need that afternoon nap. County road crews, the local guys in Morristown, and private contractors scrambled early and fought hard first to clean the roads and parking lots. How many driveways and areas will you think you'll do, you guys will do today? Uh, I don't know, maybe 20. Yes. Then to keep them that way. So we're just going to get as much done as we can right now so it's not too icy for later. We caught up with Sean Delbini refilling his sodium chloride tank ready to run again. He doesn't mind at all. You get used to it. You know, like I say, I love the cold weather, I love the snow, so it doesn't bother me. You can see I don't even have a jacket on right now. Yes. I love it. Yes, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's crazy, I told him. Hopefully all of those guys are taking well-deserved naps. Now, crews will continue to monitor these wet roads to make sure that salt is keeping them from icing over. We are live in Morristown, Tony Yates. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. They're working out hard out there, Tony. Thank you. We'll keep it right here for coverage of this storm. Lee Goldberg's full forecast is coming up. And when you're not near television, just log into 7online.com. We turn now to some other news today. Two Mount Vernon police officers are under arrest in connection with a drag racing accident. Investigators say Leonard Cooper and Robert Burke were racing their personal vehicles last year. Burke lost control and crashed his car, injuring his passenger. Both officers pleaded guilty to reckless driving. Burke also pleaded guilty to assault. A victory for one of the men claiming to be the father of Anna Nicole Smith's baby. Coming up, what a judge has ordered should be done with her body during the paternity dispute. And what happens when a war veteran doesn't receive his benefits? He gets Tappy Phillips and seven on his side. Post captioning provided by your Lexus dealers. I'm Howard Olmstead from the Home Funding Group. I have the lowest mortgage payment you've ever heard of. $150,000 for only $400 a month. $250,000 for $665 a month. $500,000 for only $1,324 a month. All with no income verification and unlimited cash out. Got rental properties? We can refinance those too. No income verification and cash out. Even if you have credit problems, call us. 800-345-CASH. I'm writing to thank you on behalf of my family and myself. You, you gave, gave us the, the greatest great gifts during the last stages of my mother's illness. You added laughter to tears. You listened to our needs. You treated our mother with such kindness and respect. We will never forget it. A source of peace, dignity, and respect to all New York families for over 25 years. Metropolitan Jewish Hospice. Thank you. The Andersons just got this titanium HD beauty. The Romeros, this tricked out setup. And for game day, the Marshalls got this bad boy. All this great high tech stuff, and you're gonna hook it up to cable? Why? With Verizon Fios, TVs deliver picture and sound so real and lifelike, you'll have to see it to believe it. And computers get juiced with lightning fast speed, so you can stream videos in real time and so much more. And now you'll get Incredible TV, America's top rated internet service, plus unlimited calling for under $95 a month. So call 1 877 for Fios TV today. That's 1 877 for Fios TV. Because hooking up any of this to cable would just be a waste. Phone, broadband, TV, Verizon. There's a guy in Texas building his own rocket in his backyard. Charlie Farmer has a plan. Do you really think they're going to let you go up in outer space? <laughs> if you advertise on my rocket, it's going to raise your sales. Mr. Farmer, how do we know that you're not constructing a WMD? If I was building a weapon of mass destruction, you wouldn't be able to find it. The Astronaut Farmer. I expect you home for dinner. Rated PT starts February 23rd. How do you spot an Eyewitness News AccuWeather Watcher? Looks like she watched AccuWeather. <laughs> he sure didn't. AccuWeather Watchers count on the Eyewitness News AccuWeather team with AccuTrack Plus and Stormwarn 7. So AccuWeather Watchers get the world's most accurate weather forecast. Watch AccuWeather on Channel 7 Eyewitness News. So this will never happen to you. More people turn to Eyewitness News than any other local news. 
The tug of war over DNA testing of Anna Nicole Smith's body appears to be over. The body was being held in a Florida morgue for DNA testing to determine the paternity of Smith's five-month-old daughter. At least two men claimed to be the father. Just hours ago, a judge in L.A. ended the hold on the body after determining that enough DNA was preserved during the autopsy. Now, this could allow Smith's body to be buried in the Bahamas, where she lived. The 39-year-old died February 8th of undetermined causes. Mm. Well, tonight, help for a man who served our country during the Korean War. The Veterans Administration denied paying him medical benefits, so he got Tappy Phillips and seven on his side, and Tappy sent in the troops. This is my honorable discharge. Stuart Hirsch served my honorably during the Korean the War, but he says his present skirmish with the Veterans Administration is his toughest battle. It's one of the most frustrating um, events I've ever uh, had to face. Stewart was hurt during basic training while crawling through an infiltration course where live rounds were fired over his head. But one of them was close enough to me that um, it, it injured me. Uh, it actually flipped me over and twisted my back all up, and I ended up in the hospital. Stewart has spent years in pain, and it has been getting worse. Then he found out that he was eligible for veterans' benefits. But getting those benefits turned out to be an exercise in frustration. Around and around for almost two years now. The problem? All Stewart's military medical records were lost in a fire 30 years ago. It was up to Stewart to provide proof of his injury. I keep sending them what they ask me to send them, and then they keep asking me to send it to them over and over again. But after we called, Stewart finally got a hearing before the VA. And lo and behold, they ruled in my favor. Stewart was issued retroactive benefits of over $2,500 and would receive another $115 a month for life. I felt like um, uh, the unknown citizen mm -hmm. uh, who did everything right, but nobody seemed to realize it. Well, seven on your side seemed to realize it. Congratulations. Thank you. Tappy Phillips, <laughs> Channel 7 Eyewitness Thank News. You. Good story. Our Stormwatch 7 coverage continues. Coming up, meteorologist Lee Goldberg has the latest information and he's going to give us our five day forecast. Plus, there was a very special guest ringing the opening bell at the stock exchange this morning. Wait until you see who it was. There may be an easier and more effective way to protect infants against a potentially deadly infection. I'm Dr. Jay Adlersberg. I'll have that story coming up. How can it be offensive if it's true? Okay, first of all, I'm not 100% in love with your tone right now. Tone aside, historically, you guys have struggled to adapt. Yeah, right. Walking upright, discovering fire, inventing the wheel, laying the foundation for all mankind. You're right. Good point. Sorry we couldn't get that to you sooner. Connie, your reaction? Sounds like someone woke up on the wrong side of the rock. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Winter. It's the perfect season for fresh, ripe fruit. That's because it's actually summer in Chile, where nature has created the perfect world for growing delicious fruit. Chilean fruit is at the peak of perfection right now. Let the fruit farmers of Chile bring summer home to you. Chilean fruit. Summer is here. Taste the summer fruit of Chile right now at Wegmans. If your pap test is normal, you don't have to worry about cervical cancer, right? Right. Right. Of course. Wrong. A pap isn't enough. There's another test, the HPV test. Almost all cervical cancers are caused by a virus, the human papillomavirus. And only an HPV test can directly detect the virus. Really? Why didn't I know that? Now you know. And everyone we know should know. Absolutely. The HPV test. Ask your doctor. Tell your friends. Must be used along with a pap test and is approved for screening women 30 and over. Become cops or criminals when you're facing a loaded gun. What's the difference? Now nominated for five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Do you want him to chop me up and feed me the poor? The Departed, now on DVD in high definition. Hey, Mom, I'm at Jimmy's house. Can I stay for dinner? Yes, his parents are home. Yeah, dinner. Hold on. She doesn't believe me. Carol? Yep, yeah, we're all having dinner together. A real meal on a weeknight? What a shocker. Pick up a nine-piece bucket of original recipe drumsticks and thighs for just 6 dollars 
Bring back dinner at KFC. Now all KFC original recipe and extra crispy chicken has zero grams of trans fat with the same great taste you love. A lot of car ads say, save for a limited time. Why would I want to save for a limited time when I can get a car that will save me money every time I drive it? Like the Toyota Prius Hybrid. It can save you more than $13,000 over five years. So you don't just feel smart the week you bought it. You feel smart, period. Get a brand new Toyota Prius with 0% APR financing or lease one for just $229 a month. The Toyota Prius Hybrid, a smart way to keep moving forward. The teen tournament finals. It doesn't get any better than this. It's all on the line on our next Jeopardy. Tonight at 7 right here on ABC7. Wall Street's opening bell featured a special recognition this Valentine's Day. Hey, there, person looks familiar right there <laughs> on the right. Is that Diana ringing in the new bell? Oh, she's very rah rah. That's yeah. Diana. Yeah. <laughs> well, Clear Channel Communications and the National Eating Disorders Association were there. Um, Ten million women and men suffer from eating disorders, and the message this morning: love your body, love who you are, and among Absolutely. those participating. Diana Williams. Yes. National Eating Disorder Awareness Week starts February 25th. That, that's great to see you out there. It was neat. It was a very neat experience and a good message, you know? Yeah. As sure. much as we love family members, spouses, girlfriends, mm -hmm. kids, love ourselves Just too. Love one another. Yeah. Now, is that what this pin? Yes, this is our pin that we wear. This is your too. pin. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Great cause, great organization. Listen, through rain, sleet, or snow, the Postal yeah. Service, and yours truly. Oh, isn't that so Happy sweet. Valentine's Day. You totally casually dropped the hint of we like dark chocolate. Godiva. So there you and go. And Godiva rang yeah. the bell yesterday. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, they did the bell ringing yesterday at the stock heart. exchange. There we go. Thank well, you. You're very welcome. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Nice to spend my first Valentine's Day with you. Aww. And, uh, you know, you were talking about in the break, the viewers, well, Tara, our producer, took care of you as well. We have pictures <gasps> of all oh, of your fans. There's <laughs> and there's, there's one of our directors, two of our Andy, directors Andy, Andy, and Susan. Yeah. And we had one from Vinny and Pete and, and Brian. Brian. And Brian. Love and I think that. Pete asked us about flowers. Well, Pete. Well, Candy, we no got chocolate, but we got We're candy. <laughs> you, are, you are taken care of. That's Aww, very sweet. That's great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, we haven't had a chance to really talk about Valentine's Day because of all this weather that we're having. Very a lot true. of people are wondering what's going to happen tonight. Well, a little bit more snow, and it's all about colder temperatures coming in. So be next to your honey or loved one and warm up. So let's go outside tonight. We're at temperatures right now. I think I won them over. Well, <laughs> time we go. And we've got some clouds around, and there is Empire State Building, and it is in red tonight. Valentine's Day weather history last year was very nice at 41 degrees, nothing like today. It rained back in 2005, so we looked back. When has it snowed on Valentine's Day? You have to go back 10 years ago, a little over an inch in 1997, so it can snow on Valentine's Day. Just a quick explainer on what happened with this storm. When you have snow falling out of the sky, if you look at the bottom 5,000 feet of the atmosphere, you are below freezing all the way through. The the real challenge with this storm is when you look at a sleep profile from about four to five thousand feet or just a thin layer in the atmosphere near the ground, you have an area that's above freezing. That causes the snow to melt, then it ices over. You have ice pellets, you form sleet. That was a huge part of this storm along with freezing rain. There's the pink line you see there. The storm's near Cape Cod. Some snows are wrapping in. One more band has to come through. That'll take until nine or ten o'clock tonight. Still can be a quick coating on area roadways. You know how temperatures are dropping. Six Six degrees Poughkeepsie tonight, nine Morristown, 14 in the park in Newark, and 16 in Islip. That's with winds at about 30 miles an hour, so it feels like we're close to about zero. Now, during the day tomorrow, the high temperatures are in the middle 20s. We'll have some wind, we'll have a lot of sun, won't do much good. It'll be pretty blustery. Here's your five day AccuWeather forecast a frigid couple of days. The snow and ice you have now, not going anywhere. Be very careful with the icy spots tonight and the dangerously cold temperatures that are coming in with those gusty winds over 40 miles an hour. There's a wind advisory along the coast. Now, it's a cold forecast. There's also a lot of wind in the forecast through Friday. There can be a snow shower Saturday night and Sunday. That doesn't look like a big deal. Still blustery on Monday, and as we talked about yesterday, after the 23rd is when things start to warm up a little bit. So let's, let's get there quickly. Okay. So Thanks again, thanks, Lee. Lee. Anytime. Nice Valentine's surprise. Thanks. By the way, we have been following this story out at JFK. We have now learned that not just one jet, blue jet, was stranded on the tarmac at JFK. Up to four jets 
have been stranded out on the tarmac. We are following this story. We have Eyewitness News reporter Phil Lipoff out at the airport, and he's going to have a full report for us coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Four jets out mm. there. A lot of frustrated a passengers. A lot of frustrated passengers. Well, when it comes to flu vaccines for your children, what's most effective? The shot or nasal spray? New information when we come back. On our next show, our first mystery taster of 2007. Oh my God, it's not. Then Gret is here at busting beauty myths. Tomorrow morning at 10. Half the fat, a third less calories. Craft Light Ranch. With the taste of regular dressing. Amy's disappearing light snack. Craft your snack. I'm Dolly Smith of the Keystone Slammers, and this is my story. I play on a women's volleyball team that is 55 and older. Sometimes we fall down, but we get right back up. I've got arthritis in my shoulders and my back and my knees. It just gives me a lot of pain. I take a leave in the morning. I just decided one day that I was going to try it. I am just pain-free for the whole day, so I can do all the things that I love to do. A leave really does the trick for me. Have a great retirement, Tom. Thank you. I believe this is yours. We really need to talk now that you're retired. Ignore me, but you need to protect some of your assets. An AXA equitable annuity could help turn your 401k into guaranteed income for life. I'd call them. But what do I know? I'm just the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Want guaranteed income for life? Call your financial advisor and ask for an annuity from AXA Equitable. Okay, good talk. When I picked my Medicare drug plan last year, I thought that would be enough. But now I need more medical benefits, too. How many plans do I have to juggle? And will I have to pay a lot more? Not at all. With an Aetna Medicare Advantage plan, you get prescription drug coverage and medical benefits in the same plan. Find out how much you can save. Call 1-888-2-ANSWER for your Aetna answer. We want you to know Aetna Medicare. We're right in the middle of the flu season, and tonight, word on what's the best way to vaccinate children. Seven's on call with Dr. Jay Adlersberg. Shade, Diana, remember the live spray flu vaccine? It's made with a live virus, not a dead one, and no shot is needed. Last year, the spray was approved only for people ages 5 to 49. But a study in tomorrow's New England Journal of Medicine may lead to its use in younger children if it gets FDA approval. Kathy Rivera's two-year-old son, Angel, is in the hospital for severe diarrhea, probably from a virus. But there's one virus he won't get this year, the flu virus. Kathy took him for a flu shot. The fevers, the chills in their spine is horrible. I wouldn't like my children to go through that. For Angel and other young children, the study has some good news. It compared the live virus spray vaccine versus the shot in children ages six months to five years. The major finding, there were almost 60% fewer flu cases in kids getting the live vaccine. No one likes to get a shot. The uh, pediatrician and the nurse in the office don't like giving the shot. The child and the parent don't like receiving the shot. Also, it looks safe for young kids, and they have more office visits for flu than any other age group. Safety studies of the live vaccine show that some children under one year of age develop significant wheezing as a side effect. That may cause the FDA to limit the use of this vaccine to kids over one year of age. The nasal vaccine may soon be approved for kids ages one through five. Many pediatricians will be offering both the killed and the live vaccine, and the specific vaccine that should be administered to an individual child is best determined by their physician. The FDA may approve this vaccine for kids above one year of age. Use in younger inf uh, infants is a question mark for now. For more on the study, see our website, 7online.com. Shot it there. Well, Jay, what's the main difference between the shot and the spray? The shot is made as classic vaccines are with dead virus. It's injected into your system. Your body reacts to the dead virus as if it were alive. The spray actually contains a live flu virus that's made, been made very weak in the test tube. So it doesn't give you the flu, but your body reacts to it as if you caught 
the flu with this live virus. And a couple weeks later, the virus is out of your system and you're immune to the flu. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if I want the live one or the dead one. Well, it's so much easier to take a spray in your nose than I'm a sure shot. It is. I would sure want the spray. Yeah. Okay, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> and that does it for this five o'clock edition on this Valentine's Day of Eyewitness News. We want to thank you for watching and thanks for your Valentine's. I'm Diana Williams. And I'm Shade Betterenois. And have a happy Valentine's Day. Eyewitness News at six is 45 seconds away. Stay with ABC7 starting at 7 with Jeopardy. Then Wheel of Fortune, George Lopez, The Knights of Prosperity, Lost, Encore, and then a new Lost at 11 Eyewitness News. All right here on ABC7. Tonight's preview is sponsored by AXA Equitables. Hot enough for you? All right, ignore me, but your assets for retirement won't protect themselves. An annuity from AXA Equitable could guarantee income for life, so you can stop sweating, at least when you're not in here. I'd give them a call, but what do I know? I'm just the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Want guaranteed income for life? Call your financial advisor and ask for an annuity from AXA Equitable.